just some month and a couple of weeks into this the, the TT Pro League calendar. We had the Digicel Charity Shield, a league match and, and then the first Citizens Cup which, which was just concluded. Caledonia defended its title. Tell me a little bit about you, you your feelings on the league so far. The league, uh, we are very pleased with the opening month of uh, our activities. Uh, at, the begin, at the beginning of the league, we had two strategic imperatives. One was to ensure that we improve the attendances at the league games, and the secondly, to improve the uh, game atmosphere at, the, at all pro league matches. And I'm pleased to say that we have achieved these objectives. If you look at the final of the First Citizens Cup, there were a couple thousand people uh, attending the game. And when you look at the atmosphere, we have you got rave reviews from all of the, the, the different media. So, um, you know, we're very happy with that. I think we bang on target and um, we're looking to roll out some more initiatives as we go along into the 2012-2013 season. How much of a struggle it is for the league, basically on, on the, the backdrop of a not so good national team and national team news? Well, uh, the TT Pro League understands its role and function in the uh, development of Trinidad and Tobago football, we are about ensuring that the youngsters have uh, the, the opportunity to play professional football, that we provide you know, the, the forum and them for to, to, to uh, be professional footballers and to uh, earn a living playing football, professional football. And that's what we're doing. Um, what we did as well, we increased the brand extension this year. We had a digital charity shield, so we added to the attraction of the league. We as well, we're improving in terms of the, uh, the, the marketing and the promotion of the games. We are now looking at digital advertising, where we're going to be hitting uh, the, the PTSC, uh, the, the, all of the transit sites, and we're going as well into the pharmacies and gas stations. So what, what, what's going to happen when you, when you look at the premiership and so on abroad? They are front of mind in, in terms of, of all of the people uh, in, in their market, and that, that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to ensure that people, wherever they go, they see TT Pro League, they see TT Pro League players, they see TT Pro League coaches, and they see TT Pro League football. And if we do that, and the more we continue to do that, we're going to have, the, as, as it used to be in the past, the young footballers as household names, and we're going to be creating stars, and we're going to be uh, trying to link that, that, that the, 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 the football and, and, and making sure that it becomes an emotional topic again. And, and bring it back to where it used to be. So we're happy. We're putting those promotional aspects in place as well as at the games as well. You're going to see a TT Pro League mascot soon together with Digicel, our, our sponsor. And uh, we're continuing to grow that partnership as well. So I, you know, it augurs well for, for professional football. And we, you know, as I said, we're very happy with the month long proceedings thus far. Okay, Mr. Skin, getting the message there, getting the, the advertisement, the, the marketing aspect of it, but what is, what is it that the league is doing to? to keep those, those thousands that, that showed up at the First Citizens final present at, at other games? As I said, we, as in addition to that, we, to the, the promotional activities, we have done and we continue to do our market surveys at the games. We are finding out how people are coming to, and why people are coming to the games. We are doing those interviews and seeing what makes them enjoy uh, TT Pro League football. And I think it's the whole package with the entertainment, the giveaways, the competition for the fans. Because, I mean, whether you like it or not, this is entertainment. It's not just about football as it was long ago. We have to compete with the bars and, and all of the other attractions on Arapita Avenue and, and all over Trinidad. And um, we're doing this. Uh, I think we, we, are, we are now understanding what this thing is about. It's, it's, it's uh, having fun-loving, excitement, entertainment for the entire family where people can come and really enjoy a high standard of football because there, there is a high standard of football at TT Pool. That final between uh, Caledonia AA and Defence also was excellent. Uh, we saw the, uh, Caledonia, the eventual winners, and I want to congratulate them, displaying a very high technical and, and tactical uh, you know, standard of football. We had the Defence Force as well with their more direct approach, but, but I mean, again, very exciting um, football and um, you know it, it was a 2-1 game and, and you know all indicators you know uh, in, showing that we're going to have a very exciting and competitive most importantly because all of the teams are at a particular level as well this year from what we've, we've been seeing and um, I think it's going to go down to the wire uh, and until May in, in 2013 so that again it, it says a lot for the TT Pro League.